Hi guys, Kath from Edible Backyard here and today we are talking November, the last month of spring and heaps of sowing and planting in November. Um, we need to be a little bit aware of sowing and planting at this time of year because I don't know about your place but at my place the weather is still up and down. We're going to have cold snaps and it's going to be baking hot. Um, it's all part of the learning, um, you'll figure it out what works well at your place, you'll find varieties that do well when it's colder, um, you'll learn the ones that need a bit of extra protection, maybe a little bit of plastic or something around it to cozy them up, um, you'll figure it out. Have a play. If you don't know where to start, there's a link below to my blog post, heaps of suggestions um, for what you can be planting and sowing at this time of year. Alrighty, so the next thing in November is a daily walk around your estate and this is could be one of the very best things you'll ever do in your garden because you get to see any problems when they're small and it's heaps easier to fix a problem when it's small so you might see a few aphids it's as simple as squashing them um, you might see a few holes in your leaves it's as simple as chucking out a few bits of slug bait to prevent them eating the whole seedling right on up you might see a plant that looks a bit wilty and a bit dry give it a little bit of water um, just keep your garden well and keep your garden strong at this um, vulnerable little time of year with a daily five minute walk. Another thing you can be doing um, for your brand new seedlings and, um, is to keep them watered. So you can have a really baking hot day and um, the poor things don't have a big root system, they can just dry out and that's the crop gone. So keep an eye on your babies and look after them well. And lucky last is weeding. Um, get out your hoe and get your weeds when they're small because then it's just a real quick easy job. Um, there's a link below to a video I was talking about that last week. Um, and the importance of um, keeping your weeds down, you've made all of that nutrition in your soil for your plants, not for the weeds. And also you're going to prevent any fungus happening um, by making great airflow. So there's heaps to do. It is a busy time in November, um, but I hope you enjoy it because Hey, it's pretty damn beautiful, isn't it?